Hello everyone, how are you doing? Uh, our next Doubt Your Diaries instalment coming <clears throat> about a month after I last checked in with everyone. Uh, last time I was in my bed with COVID at Christmas. Thankfully, um, that lasted about a week and I was able to get back up, get back into it. And now I'm not in Oxford, UK, I'm in Spain. I am in the hills just below Valencia, where my father lives. I'll give you a little tour. So it's beautiful, forested mountainside. And we have gorse blossom and bees and insects buzzing around. Whereas in the UK, it's colder. Everything is bare. There are no insects. So it's just lovely to get here. I'm just here for the weekend to see my dad. It's the first time in uh, nearly three years because of COVID and not being able to travel. So I've had a wonderful morning of training with Bing Shifu online, um, reviewing 13, Tai Chi 13 and uh, Bashian Jian, Eight Immortal Sword. And done my own practice and I've come for a run in the hills to work on my fitness and just enjoy nature and the Tao. Look at that. Stunning. Uh, I just wanted to check in and just comment on a few things. First, um, getting over COVID is kind of an interesting to live that experience. I think I had the Omicron variant, so it was milder and I was vaccinated, so it was milder. But just in returning back to training, what I noticed was uh, tiredness and muscle aches at the beginning. And I, I kind of took the lessons of all of my friends and colleagues who've uh, recovered from COVID and didn't push it and just incrementally did a bit more to avoid a kind of boom and bust rebound. That seems to have worked and I think I'm back, back on it now, back to where I was. So that's interesting, just the, not only the kind of fitness and the physicality of our Gong Fu practices, but the lessons of patience, softness, yin principles, wu wei, the kind of non-contrived, reflexive responding to the conditions. I needed to roll with my recovery and uh, not push it. So that was really interesting. And it's, uh, it's done me well, and I'm back. And so China, here we are in 2022, end of January. We're supposed to go, sorry, not in the end of January, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a week ahead of myself. We're in February, it's the 5th of February. And so kind of seven months till we're scheduled to go to China. Can we go? Will foreigners get let in? this year a range of opinions are about so the Beijing Winter Olympics started yesterday opening ceremony and one school of thought from many Chinese people is that once the Winter Olympics pass um, the northern hemisphere heats up with the approaching of summer um, China will open again to foreigners that's the hopeful view and my Shifu Bing Shifu is hopeful that we can still get to him in September. The other view is that it's not going to happen this year. I've also had a view that President Xi Jinping um, is going to, there's going to be re new elections in November, so they're not going to alter the balance and let um, the world into China until he's re-elected to November. So a lot of people are thinking more conservatively about next year. If we don't get to go till next year, that's okay. There'll be some positives, maybe some more of our our students in the UK can join us. But this is 10 years now, 10 years since I was last in Wudang training with Bing Shifu in Wulongong. So desperately need to go. My heart is aching. Seeing all the years before when other people have gone, when I haven't been able to, because my kids have been smaller. Now I can go and we might not be able to but we might so it'll all be last minute so this is real cliffhanger stuff those of you who are following this blog 
we still are nowhere nearer to knowing now in February than when I started this blog over a year ago. Let's see, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. In the meanwhile, when we s- stay in this state of uncertainty, this liminality, this liminal state between knowing, between knowing that we couldn't go to the possibility that we could and the might, all we can do is train, right? And practice and cultivate ourselves in this in-between place. Very much a holy and um, revered state of being in Taoism particularly, that state of flux and change. So we just have to sit in it, flow in it. In the meantime, got some things to uh, um, keep us going along the way. Our own weekly training, our workshops back in Oxford, um, back in nature there in the woods as the seasons change. I'm going to be getting over next month to Barcelona for some one-to-one training with uh, Shifu Pablo Salas from Wudang, Spain, which is going to be wonderful. Um, So some things to keep us going. And in the meantime, we'll wait and see. Thanks as ever for connecting with us, joining in to the blog. Um, I think it's probably interesting for us as a worldwide community of Wudang practitioners just to share with each other and give each other heads up and anything we hear about um, China opening its borders and relaxation policies. So if anyone hears anything, maybe we should post it, pass the word around so we get to understand it as a community as soon as we can. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.